Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Hui Ying and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of matter. I have prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 9. Paul carried out an experiment. He set up a bottle and a funnel as shown below. He poured the water quickly into the funnel, but the water did not enter the airtight bottle. So now the question is asking us, which of the following best explains why water could not enter the airtight bottle? Before we look through the options, we have to first understand what is going on in this diagram first. Now, if we were to look at this diagram, we have an airtight bottle. It is actually empty. But now my question to you is, is the bottle truly empty? Think about it. What can you actually find in the bottle that is invisible? You can actually find air in the bottle. Now, is air matter? Yes, air is matter. And remember, all matter occupies space. So if air is a matter, it means that air will also need to occupy space in the bottle. So now, if air is already occupying space in the bottle, do you think there is enough space in the bottle for the water to enter? No, there is no more space for the water to occupy now. So now let's make use of an analogy to understand why is this so. Imagine now you just enter the classroom and you realize that your friend is sitting on your favorite seat. If your friend is already sitting on your favorite seat, can you still sit on the same chair? Cannot. Why? This is because your friend is already occupying space in the chair already. So link the analogy back to this question. Air, which is like the friend, is already occupying space in the bottle. So do you think there is still any more space for the water to enter the bottle now? No. So with that, let's quickly write down the annotation first. So this is the reason why the water could not enter the airtight bottle, simply because there is no more space for the water to occupy. So with that, let's quickly look through the options to see which option best explain the observation. Now, option number one, water has mass. Is this statement correct? Yes, this is because water is a matter and all matter has mass. But does this statement explain why water could not enter the airtight bottle? Remember, the reason why water could not enter the airtight bottle is simply because there is no more space for the water to enter. So even though we know that statement 1 is correct, but statement 1 does not explain why water could not enter the airtight bottle. Therefore, statement 1 is incorrect. Now let's look at option 2. Air occupies space. Now is this the reason why no water could enter the airtight bottle? Yes, this is correct. Remember, we just said that it is because air Occupy space in the bottle, which is what causes there to be no more space for the water to occupy. Therefore, statement 2 must be the correct answer. Before we conclude that option 2 is the correct answer, let's make sure that the other options are wrong before we finalize that option 2 is correct. Now, option 3 says that air cannot be compressed. Is this statement correct? Think about it. What is air? Air is a gas. Now, do gases have definite volume? No, gases do not have definite volume. So if gases do not have definite volume, can gases be compressed? Yes, gases can be compressed. So with that, let's quickly write down the annotation first. So with that, the third statement is actually wrong because air can be compressed. Now, how about the last option? Water takes the shape of the container. So is this statement correct? Water is a liquid. Do liquid have definite shape? No, liquid have no definite shape. So if liquid has no definite shape, can liquid take the shape of the container? Yes. So actually, statement 4 is a correct statement. But does option 4 explain why no water could enter the airtight bottle? No. Remember? The reason why there's no water that can enter the airtight bottle is because there is no more space for the water to enter. So with that, 
option 4 does not explain the observation. With this, we can finalize that option 2 is the correct answer. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!